Hey guys, it's Jason with Your Tech Explained. With the recent release of the LG Sport Watch came Android Wear 2. This brought a lot of changes to Android Wear. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of some of the differences. Let's jump in with the watch face. To change them, you now use a swiping gesture, which can be done left to right or right to left, instead of long pressing. Now if you long press, you'll get access to options for the face, such as changing the color or style of your current face. Most importantly, you can change what information is shown on the screen, and Android Wear 2 now supports complications. Thanks to this, you can show more information from more sources than you ever could before. You now have options like different clocks, battery level, moon phase, favorite contacts, and you can even add shortcuts to apps, making the face of your watch infinitely more useful than it was before, without needing third-party watch face apps. This would be one of my favorite new changes. Next up, if you swipe down, you now have all the options at your fingertips that you used to have without all the swiping to the left. It might be more difficult on smaller displays, though. Now we move on to notifications, where a lot has changed. Before you swipe to the left for more options, but now any swipe simply dismisses the notification. There is no way to bring back one if you accidentally swipe it away or to open the app on the phone. Now you have to click on notifications in order to read them. The three dot menu at the bottom gives you more options. When replying, there's now a built-in keyboard. Swipe typing works pretty well, but might be more challenging on smaller displays. You also have the option for voice typing, using a smart reply, or drawing an emoji. Pressing the crown or swiping right will return you to the watch face home screen. Pressing the crown from here loads up your app drawer. The layout here has been updated, and long pressing an app allows you to pin it to the top. Installing apps is also different. From now on, when you want to install an app, it will no longer automatically sync from your phone. Instead, you have to manually install it from the Play Store on the watch, or choose the companion app to load from your phone. You've probably noticed the rotating crown already, and support for this and extra buttons on the side are built into Android Wear 2. These two extra buttons can be assigned to open any apps on the watch, and also take on special functions once inside of them. For instance, in the Fit app here, the bottom button will start taking my heart rate. While in apps like Play Music, they control the volume, and in Maps, the rotating crown zooms in and out. Android Pay support has been added, but it'll require one of the newer watches with NFC antennas built in. Assistant is also a big feature added to this version, since it's been rather limited in devices that it supports so far. With Assistant, you can do pretty much everything you did with Google Now. Plus, you can use it to control your smart home, much like you can with Google Home. There you go, guys. That was just a quick overview, but there's still more changes in Android Wear 2. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for our review on the LG Sport Watch coming soon. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.